Hey guys, so Venom, uh, The Last Dance is out and premiering at number one with uh, 50 million uh, North in North America, 175 million worldwide. Uh, big hit internationally, but uh, kind of fell flat in the US. Uh, I have been trying to put to words how I feel about this movie, but let's, uh, I'm gonna do my best, all right? Breaking it down in goods and bads, of course, goods fashion. So it, the goods of Venom, uh, The Last Dance is, um, the special effects are great. Uh, it's got some pretty good uh, sequences there, especially the action sequence. The action sequences were pretty uh, pretty solid. Uh, but the creature designs, uh, Knoll's designs, uh, you know, there's a lot of different things uh, when it comes to the visuals that were pretty much, uh, you know, they were pretty much on point. Yeah, I dug them. They were okay. They, they wasn't too bad. Uh, Tom Hardy kind of like toned it back a little bit when it comes to his performance. Um, but it's Tom Hardy, so I'm not gonna ever, ever knock Tom Hardy. He's freaking awesome. Besides, I've seen Warrior. There's no way in hell I would ever knock Tom Hardy. Uh, that honestly, that's probably about it. Uh, there were some interesting concepts, especially when it came to uh, uh, Venom hopping from animal to animal and all that. That it was pretty interesting. So kind of dug that. That was okay. The horse sequence was awesome. Uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, unfortunately that is about it. Now let's talk about the bads. The bads of this movie is pretty much the story itself. Uh, the story was a mess. It, it really didn't make too much sense. And the director's approach to basically not highlight Venom more was a complete mistake. And it just kind of just took a lot away from this. When you are introducing or teasing Noel, in in the in the uh, uh, trailers, you know, you're expecting something that's going to be all like balls out crazy, and that's really what I wanted, especially when it comes to the fact that it is a last. This is the last Venom movie, period, and you kind of feel like it it shortchanged you a little bit because you know you go into something like Thor. Uh, Thor, uh, Love and Thunder, right? And you're expecting this from Christian Bale and, and all this, right? The buildup of this and nothing happens. Same thing with this. You have a buildup with Noel that you kind of, you know, planted the seed with and nothing happens. Uh, you don't highlight Venom. You don't give any kind of, uh, of uh, really intense tease, you know, that Noel is bigger than what he's appearing to be or that, you know, what he's going to do is going to be, you know, it has to be stopped or, you know, what he throws out there with all these creatures and everything, it could have made for a different movie if they if they attacked it better, if they executed it better. And it just did not happen. That story was a complete freaking mess. And I just having Tom Hardy basically talk to himself in, in the entire movie was pointless. Like, why make a Venom movie? Just call it Eddie Brock or, you know, Brock The Last Dance because Venom's nowhere to be seen in this movie. Hardly at all. At the end, you'll have a collection. I won't say much after that. And it could have also made for a pretty freaking awesome climax, but it did not. It did not deliver for shit. <laughs> and it, it was just horrible. The, that that ho Whoever wrote this, you know, we need to talk, you know, we need to get across the Spider-Verse into the Spider-Verse writers involved in anything regarding Sony, because that is the only good thing that they have going on right now. They have no idea what to do with Spider-Man. They have no idea what to do with uh, any of the characters within this. And you have, the, Sony has a perfect opportunity to have the Sinister Six and do something really good with it. And they're failing horribly. Craven the Hunter is next. And I am not expecting that to be good at all. As good as Aaron Taylor Johnson is, and as fantastic as he is in Bullet Train and Kick-Ass, uh, he can't, I don't think he can even save this damn movie. We'll see how it goes, but as of right now, Sony is failing, failing horribly. And uh, Venom The Last Dance is just another piece of that. It falls in line with Morbius, with Madam Web and everything you know it's just a complete incoherent mess uh not did not like this movie whatsoever uh could have done so much more with it and not to mention spider-man at all not not to you just were in a multiverse and you come back and not to mention spider-man at all like really to nothing <sighs> anyway 
Uh, so yeah, tell me what you think about Venom: The Last Dance. I, I it was I had to you know, it was hard for me not to walk out. I had to like hold it everything in not to walk out. Again, saw this movie for free, felt completely ripped off. <laughs> Leave it in the comment below and let me know what you think about Venom: The Last Dance. Am I am I making too much out of this, or you know, are do you find a little bit more uh, goods than bads on it? Let me and Terrence know. <laughs>